uh, student is trying to remember some formulas from geometry in what follows also. So this is about dimensional analysis. And um, you're, you have a textbook chapter in that. I think in this class, it's not quite, um, I don't have as good a, a, a place where I can illustrate the power of dimensional analysis. So, but if you understand this as a kind of, um, you are checking units to make sure that you did the algebra correctly and you didn't make obvious errors, I think that will be okay place to be at. So, so what I'm doing is I'm just doing algebra with these dimensions. So let me just write one as an example. So I have uh, this expression here, the dimension or the units for the left-hand side, I know that's gonna be unit of volume or cubic meter. So what I need on the right-hand side is for the units to be the same. The 0 0.5, that's just number, has no units, and all other variables are length. So B and H each have unit of meters. So I have unit of meter times unit of meter. Uh, so that's equal to meter squared. Also, it's not equal to meter cubed. So for this expression, I would say based on dimensional, I would say it's a dimensionally inconsistent or it's wrong simply based on dimensional analysis. I don't have to do any further analysis. I don't have to recognize this as a formula for area of a triangle. I can just look at the units and know enough that oh, this is just wrong based on units. Okay, so let me move, not check that. Uh, I'll just go through each one. This says uh, meter squared, so it's also dimensionally inconsistent. This says meter cubed, so this is dimensionally consistent. Now, um, you know, this might not be the correct formula. I don't even know what this is supposed to be for, but at least it uh, has consistent units. Um, same here, it, you have meter squared times of meter, so it should be overall meter cubed. And let's look at this one. When you have uh, two things that are adding, then there is an additional check that you should do. It's that the things that you are adding have the consistent units with each other. So when I look at this term, I have meter squared, that's R squared. When I look at here, I have meter times meter, uh, R times H. So that is meter squared. So I see that these two terms have consistent units. And what that does that is that makes this addition operation valid. Um, unless in, so, you know, sometimes in your math classes, this emphasis isn't quite placed the way we physics instructors <laughs> want there to be. But in this physics class, I, I really want you to pay attention to the units. Uh, if you write something like, you know, two pi, R, uh, two pi R squared plus, I don't know, um, 2D, then this is wrong based on units alone. You can add something that's a meter squared to meters. That it, this is a nonsense operation for to which you cannot assign a physical meaning to. So, anyways, uh, so that uh, particular choice looks all fine. So let me select that. So that should be all correct. Let me submit it and good.